Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn about a new operator which is called take last. To understand this operator you have to refer to the last two episodes where I have covered about take operator and take while operator. If you see all of these are more or less same um, variations of the same functionality of take. So it's important that you understand those operators as well. So I request you please do check the previous two episodes. Welcome back. This is part 13 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you in advance. So, so far we have covered these all these um, operators and episodes. So we are uh, currently in the 13th episode learning operator number 8 which is take last. So what does take last do? By the name itself it says take the last operator, take the last value emitted, right? So let's say if you have a value, set of values, let's say 10 values, take last will give you the last value, okay? So so whichever is the last value and how many you can mention that how many values from the last you want, right? Let's say if you have 10 values, if you say take last two, it would give you nine and 10, the last two values, right? So that is the basic fundamental of this particular operator. Now let me show you some hands-on and some use cases we'll do around it. So I'll continue to build on top of this uh, example that we are continuing. So we learned take while in the last episode. So what does this do? It will take values till a condition is true. The, when the condition is false, it will stop this particular accepting values. So now we are learning about take last, right? So what you can give the count, how many you want. So I'm going to say take count, take last two. And don't forget this sim comma because this, these are all chained operators. Okay. So this is debounce here after three seconds. So before I continue anymore, I will need a array. Okay. So let's say categories is an array that I will build. And because all I want is the last value, right? So I'm going to build an array. So you can just define any values that you would want. You can say mobiles, TV, um, chargers, Phones, etc., etc. Again, these are any values that you can define categories, right? And then I'm going to make a categories category observable. That's why I've added uh, dollar sign at the end. And what is the operator to create a um, observable out of an array? You know this because we have covered it in the previous. Uh, episode so that's right it's off operator or you can also use uh, from but I'm using this dot categories okay so it's a good idea to typecast so you can say observable of what type so you can say it's a string okay or basically um, or I can just make since it's from an array I'm going to import this from rxjs and that's it okay so I have the category observable. That's why I've added dollar sign. It's an observable which will give me a string from this array make an observable. That's what I'm saying. Now let's take this particular observable. And here if you notice we are saying take last two. Okay. Or I'm going to move it here. And instead I'm going to use it inside the subscribe. Here I'm going to say this dot categories dot subscribe say dot pipe and here I'll say take last two values and then subscribe to it nothing fancy do not think it's too much code or anything you know this code we are we are doing this from last couple of episodes I have an observable I'm sending it under the pipe and using the operator take last two which is the category category is nothing but an observable from array so when I say last two values, I should see chargers and headphones. That's my expected output. So if I do console log, uh, let's call it two. <coughs> okay. So here we what, what are we doing? We are just console logging the last two values from category. So I should see 
headphones and so when I type I should see headphones and chargers so here you see chargers and headphones because we have said that get the last two values take the last two values of from this right so where is this useful right so if you know that you have a fixed set of values that you're getting in this case I know that it's an array and I'll be getting few values but I also know that it will always get some values no matter irrespective of how many I get I'm saying I need the last two right so where do we use it right wherever you are sure about not user sure about the data set and you know that you will get values you can you need specific values you can use take last right you need the specific last emitted values okay that's what this particular operator does so it's pretty simple you say take means take n number of values take while means till a condition is met take take last means take the last two values if you say one one it will take the last one value like that I hope it's clear because the next operator that we are going to learn is just the opposite of it which is take first and what is it going to do I don't have to tell you you know it already now by now you should be knowing it which is it will take the first value from that particular array we'll see that variation in the next episode but I hope you're getting confidence if you are getting confidence please do keep dropping those in the comment section because my ultimate goal is to help you see grow help you learn if you learn that means my, I have achieved my target so please do let me know in the comment section if you're having fun if you're finding it easy if you're finding it fun to learn thank you so much for joining if you like my work again I request you to kindly buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much in advance bye see you in the next episode